Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I wanted to share a few things with you before I jump into my very small Ray Dunn haul. Um, but I'm trying to make this kind of like a little reading nook. I took this chair out of my living room. That was a home good, home good spine for like $149. That cover completely comes off. Threw that little throw pillow in there. It's not exactly finished. I still feel like it needs maybe a little throw or something to kind of pull in the colors from um, these two uh, pieces of art. The small piece of art, the bicycle, I picked that up at Home Goods a couple weeks ago. And then the Eiffel Tower one I had um, for quite a while now. You can see the little command strip on the side there at that angle. But I was thinking maybe like a throw or maybe a different kind of pillow, something to maybe pull in some of the colors from those two pieces of um, art. So what I did is, you saw I got those pieces of um, those faux plants from Ikea last week. So I did go with like, almost like a Spanish moss in the bottom of this one, but it was kind of like a little bit of Spanish moss, a little bit of regular moss, a little bit of everything. And that was on um, sale at Michael's. So I think it, I think it worked. It served its purpose. You're not looking into a pot that looks like there's a plant in it that's too small for it. So I think that worked out fine. And I put the, put the little spray bottle next to that. Do you guys ever notice that some of the pottery is more off-white than white? Like, see those two pieces there in that light? Like, I guess it's not really noticeable. But sometimes it seems like some of the pieces are more of an off-white versus an actual pure white. Or, I guess none of it's pure white, but you know what I mean. See that angle? So I put that little pot there. And then I moved my little teapot in here and put a little flower in that cream and my little beads. Um, these two little um, coasters I had picked up from a store called, um, oh my goodness, what is, what is it called? It's just Altered State. Um, when I was in Denver, I picked those up. It's a really cute store. If you have one in your area or look them up online, they have adorable things. I moved my little tea canister in here as well. Maybe this is too much for a reading nook, but you kind of have to keep moving things around because you kind of run out of space. And then I put my two used um, cybersecurity type uh, information security books there that I need to get around to reading. But that's how that's shaping up. And of course, you know, this is my most favorite spot ever. I added a few little... Um, uh, bobby pins with the little pearls there because I thought this that was just kind of a nice little touch put hello beautiful on the front there and then over here I found these flowers at Kirkland's so I thought it just kind of added a nice little touch there and kind of tied in to the flowers and colors that I was using over here and then that little um, heart with the angel wings that was $6.97 at Michael's today. So I thought I would add that in too somehow. Kind of reminds me of um, my um, baby boy that I had uh, lost. He was stillborn. And I thought that would actually make it a really neat tattoo. Maybe it's a um, typical tattoo that you would see with the angel wings in the heart. But I just love the colors in those wings and thought it just kind of added to this space. All right, let's go jump into the Ray Dunn items I picked up today. Okay, not a ton of pieces, but first and foremost, first and foremost, happy Father's Day to any fathers watching or um, mothers share that happy Father's Day uh, with the fathers um, that are in your life. But a small haul, again, was just kind of looking around, not really having anything in mind that I need or, or want. But I did see this, Life Began in a Garden, and I picked that up because my father's a pastor, so when I see that, it really kind of reminds me of the whole, um, the you know, in the beginning, um, and uh, Adam and Eve. So I thought that would be perfect for my father to kind of hang in his office. Um, he did finally retire, after preaching since 1967. Um, so I think this would just kind of be cute to kind of hang in his office at home. But it really reminds me, I know it's for gardening, but it really kind of reminds me of Adam and Eve. 
And then I did pick, when I was up in that area, I picked up the Mom Pot, and that was $7.99. And I might actually try and take that little rose that I bought from Ikea and just maybe put something in the bottom to lift it up a little bit more and use that um, in there. Also, I saw this being hauled, but there's another one that says pens and pencils um, that's a little bit bigger, but I did grab this up for pens, and this was $5.99. What does it say? Warning, this product can be can expose you to chemicals including formaldehyde, which is known in the state of California to cause cancer. Oh, that's interesting. I'm just going to set that right there. Maybe we want to take that back. Um, this I picked up actually earlier in the week. I think it was earlier this week. Could have been last week. I went into work on Monday. Last Monday, didn't realize that I had put Monday and Tuesday on the calendar for days off. Get to work and somebody's like, aren't you supposed to be on vacation? So I checked and I put my out of office on and left. So I did go right down hunting. I think I shared that last week, but I forgot to share this piece. Um, this is the snack nibble bite. And this was $12.99. And I think it'd just be perfect um, for little veggies if you have a taco night or maybe fruit, you know, some strawberries, blueberries, blackberries um, for in the morning with your waffles or pancakes. So I did pick that up um, actually last week and forgot to share that with you guys. So. What I'm trying to do, and I did pick up another cream and sugar today. These are so adorable. I have, I have a set of these already. I bought a set for my mom, and I actually had bought another cream um, accidentally last week because, you know, I text my mom and I'm like, do you have this cream? And she's like, no. Then I get to her house and I'm like, yes, you do, mom. It's right there. So my mom actually has another cream at her house. But I picked up another set because I want to try and put together um, a two-tier tray. And of course, you guys have seen this one. I picked this up around Valentine's Day, and I love it. So I want to try and do something with this with 4th of July. So I picked up um, a few things, pulled my little flags out. I did pick up the Brave Cup and the USA today at Marshall's. These were both... $5.99. So I somehow want to create um 4th of July look with these. Check out this motorcycle that I got at Home Goods today. It was $24.99. Obviously, it's too big for my two-tier tray, but I thought maybe I could put that in the display somehow. Oh, and check out my little honey. I picked that up for $3.99 yesterday at Home Goods. It kind of fits on the top of the cup. I know that's not what people were using. I know they were using like, um, I think just uh, what I've seen is just kind of a wooden disc that they were putting on top of the honey. Um, but this is so adorable. It will fit, but if, if it gets, if anything lands on the table, it does kind of tilt because it's not an exact fit, but so cute. So anyhow, I was trying to get some ideas with the red, white, and blue. So I went back into Bath & Body Works and picked up a couple candles. These guys were two for 18. So I wanted something with blue, either blue candle or a blue label. And I picked up this one that had like a red label. They did have one in there that kind of has a, a flag, but it's not exactly a red. It's almost got some orangey color in it. And I just, it, I didn't really, wasn't doing what I wanted. So um, then I also picked up these little pom-poms from the dollar spot at Target. This is all they had. Um, these were $3 a piece. Picked up, was it when I was in Home Goods, I also picked up some napkins to maybe incorporate into the tray. I don't know. Picked up these tassels, um, this tassel banner, because I just love uh, the red, white, and blue colors in here, because they are um, more muted, softer, kind of more um, country, rustic looking. Um, but then I also, that's my daughter in the background getting snacks. 
I also picked up at the Dollar Tree this um, ribbon. So I thought I could use that somehow um, in the decorating. But then these little headbands, I thought I could dis disassemble these because they've got a lot of ribbons and stuff going on that I could use to decorate a, a small two-tier tray. And see these little stars here, kind of pick up with the stars there. So there's a lot going on I think I could use out of that. So I'm gonna get busy trying to put a two-tier tray together, maybe get a bigger one down. I didn't wanna buy a new one, but that's my haul. I'm gonna try and put together something for July 4th and just move my iced tea um, off the table. Still really want a sweet tea pitcher. That's probably the only thing that I really don't have. So still looking. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Thanks for watching.